from the ferocious sea beasts that possibly killed off the Megalodon to the truth behind Bigfoot, here are 10 prehistoric creatures that might still be alive today. Number 10. The Coelacanth The Coelacanth is one of those animals that likely exists, but it might not. This prehistoric fish has been alive for over 400 million years. It was actually thought to have been extinct until it was rediscovered off the coast of South Africa back in 1938. It managed to hide in the ocean for literally millions of years. This fish is even known as the living fossil fish. However, nobody actually knows how many of these beasts are still living in the ocean. Back in 1994, a survey estimated that the population could be somewhere between 230 and 650, but keep in mind that was over 20 years ago. They could actually be extinct again, or at least close to it. This prehistoric beast and its existence in our waters is sceptical at best. In the past decade, there have been reports of around 19 of these fish being caught in nets around the coast of Tanzania, but that isn't really proof that they are thriving. The coelacanth very well might have popped its head out of the extinction window only to go back into the abyss. With the number of fish in the ocean decreasing at such alarming rates, it wouldn't be a big surprise if these dinosaurs were gone again very soon. Number 9. Megatherium The giant sloth is a prehistoric animal that once lived and thrived in the jungles of South America. And even though paleontologists say that giant sloths died off thousands of years ago near the end of the last ice age, right around the time that woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers also disappeared, there is some sketchy evidence that the giant prehistoric sloth could still be hiding in the density of the South American jungles. It's all about the legend of the May Pinguari. It is said to be a frightening prehistoric monster that lives in the darkest corners of the forests. The legend has been around for generations in South America, but there might be a lot more to it than just bedtime stories. So far as the legends go, this monster stands at least 9 feet tall, it has huge claws and its feet face backwards. It even has an extra mouth on its belly. It's said that this monster eats herds of cattle and has even assaulted at least one human. Mainstream scientists say that the existence of such a creature is impossible, but it does sound a lot like the giant sloth. There have been no confirmed sightings of any such beast, but that doesn't mean it can't exist. The description is almost spot on to what a giant ground sloth would look like. They walked on all fours, and when standing on their hind legs, they loomed over 10 feet tall. They also had huge claws and special backward-facing feet that they used for digging. Number 8. The Megalodon The Megalodon has risen in popularity a lot over the last few years. It's widely regarded as the largest shark that ever lived on Earth, and one of the biggest predators in our planet's history. Megalodons roamed the sea starting about 28 million years ago, and they supposedly went extinct 1.6 million years ago. Most scientists believe they were wiped out during the Pleistocene extinction, one of the great extinction events that wiped out a huge portion of life on the planet. The Megalodon was massive. Some of the teeth discovered were at least 7 inches long. Reconstructions using fossilised remains put the Megalodon at around a maximum length of 54 feet. That would make it three times larger than a current great white shark. But whether these giants of the deep still exist somewhere deep in our oceans is seriously doubtful. The issue here is that nobody has any real evidence to suggest they do exist, but there is also no evidence that says four or five of them couldn't still be lurking around 10,000 feet below the surface of the water. There could definitely be one lurking around somewhere, but scientists have not managed to find it. To be completely honest, it's not very likely. But it's not impossible either, and that's what's so exciting about the Megalodon. Take the Megamouth Shark for example. This shark was not discovered until 1976, and it's pretty enormous. It's about 15 feet long, and it lives around 15,000 feet deep. Still, just because one big shark eluded us until the 70s doesn't mean the Megalodon isn't still eluding us now. Or does it? Number 7. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus was the largest primate that ever existed on our planet, and it was twice as tall as an adult human. It's also very likely that this huge ape could very well still exist. Sightings of Bigfoot, also known as the Sasquatch, have been going on for thousands of years. All over North America, and even in South America, there have been reports of giant hairy creatures at least 10 feet tall that look like a mix between a monkey and a man. And what we are calling Bigfoot could actually be the Gigantopithecus. This is obviously not confirmed by anyone, and according to live science the prehistoric primate went extinct a few hundred thousand years ago. Plus, it actually roamed the forests of Southeast Asia, not North America. But that doesn't mean one of its relatives couldn't have survived the ages and somehow made it into the wilderness of North America. Considering how smart the great primate probably was even millions of years ago, it's undoubtedly capable of hiding from humans in some of the wildest places left. 
The Gigantopithecus stood over 10 feet tall, it weighed around 600 pounds, and there have actually been very few fossils of the animal discovered over the years. There have only been teeth and partial pieces of the primate's jaws found. This has left a lot of questions surrounding the evolution of the primate, what exactly it looked like, and how exactly it went extinct. All anyone knows is that if Bigfoot really does exist, there is actually a scientific chance that it could be the legendary Gigantopithecus in hiding. Number 6. The Immortal Plesiosaur Plesiosaurs were dinosaurs. They were a type of marine reptile that existed millions of years ago. There were many different kinds of them living in our oceans, but they were all relatively similar. Keep in mind that this was about 65 million years ago. But nonetheless, there could very well still be not just one plesiosaur, but a few of them still living on our planet, disguised as the Loch Ness Monster. The plesiosaurs all had very similar features. They were all reptiles with a fat body and a long neck that hunted fish in our prehistoric oceans. Even though they were wiped out, because there were so many different species of this type of animal, it is possible that somewhere in a remote pocket they could still be thriving. A lot of people would love to believe that the Loch Ness Monster is in fact a giant prehistoric plesiosaur, one of many that have been living for years inside the loch. And while I love the idea of it, and it's hard to debate the uncanny similarities between what these marine dinosaurs looked like and our common idea of what the Loch Ness Monster looks like, there are some serious issues. For one thing, the Loch Ness Monster has supposedly been spotted on land. Plesiosaurs were unable to venture out of the water. But the biggest issue of all is that as a marine predator, a plesiosaur would need so many fish to survive that it could never have made it 65 million years inside of Loch Ness. It's just straight up not possible. Still, who knows for sure? Maybe there is one of these prehistoric beasts hanging around somewhere unseen by us. Number 5. Dinosaurs This may come as a bit of a surprise, but some people don't think the dinosaurs ever went extinct. Of course, a lot of these are the same people who think the Earth is flat and lizard people are in charge of the government. Still, we can humour the possibility that dinosaurs are still lurking around and kicking about. The biggest win for the possibility of dinosaurs being alive is that nobody can demonstrate with 100% certainty that every last T-Rex vanished off the face of the Earth and is never coming back. Because after all, there is an astronomically small chance that some species in some part of the world managed to breed in very small numbers without ever being discovered. There are lots of reports of there being a dinosaur living discreetly in the jungles of the Congo. But of course, it's impossible to prove fact or fiction. That being said, dinosaurs probably don't exist today outside of chickens, crocodiles and rats. Some creationists still cling to the idea that dragons mentioned in the Bible and in ancient folk tales actually speak of dinosaurs. And of course, all the conspiracy theorists jump on board and claim that dinosaurs could have actually gone extinct much later than previously imagined, after being hunted down by a bunch of valiant knights. But it's probably not true. Number 4. The Killer of the Megalodon If you want an example of prehistoric creatures alive today, look no further than the Great White Shark. Most of us already know these sharks are prehistoric and come from millions of years ago. But what you may not know is that some experts believe Great White Sharks are actually what eventually killed off the Megalodon, which could actually add to the possible evidence of a small number of Megalodons still living in the oceans today, but may be very deep down where they can hide from their arch enemies. The story goes like this. For 20 million long years, the Megalodon was the king of the ocean. It was a 50-foot super predator, and out of nowhere, it vanished. According to Science Alert, a new study has found that the Megalodon supposedly went extinct right around the time when the Great White Shark rose to become the apex predator of the world's oceans. With this new timeline, experts believe that the Great White Sharks, who first showed up on Earth about 6 million years ago, were better predators and were able to beat the Megalodon at its own game, stealing all of its food and rising to the top of the food chain, therefore forcing the Megalodon into hiding. So. While the Megalodon may have been the hugest ocean predator ever, our very own Great White Sharks were actually more effective. Number 3. Woolly Mammoths The majority of woolly mammoth fossils have been discovered in Russia, in the Siberian permafrost. This is because the vast and mostly empty regions of eastern Russia were once home to some of the most incredible prehistoric animals, such as woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and even ancient lions. It makes sense that all these fossils are hiding underneath the ice, especially since most of these animals only went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Our ancestors actually lived alongside the amazing woolly mammoth. Could such a beast still exist in the remote Siberian taiga? The answer is, maybe. A recent video posted online actually showed what appeared to be a woolly mammoth crossing a river. But a blurry video on YouTube is not to be trusted. If you talk to the local Siberians, some will say yes and some will say no. There's a famous story from the 1940s in which a military pilot flew over the dense northern regions of Russia and spotted a small herd of animals that looked a whole lot like woolly mammoths. 
And there was another story of 1978 in which people saw what they believed to be woolly mammoths congregated near a very remote river. It's hard to believe, I agree. These accounts are all nothing but urban legends. But considering the last mammoths lived very recently, it does feel like something that should be possible. According to the director of the Pleistocene Park in Yakutia, Russia, the very last woolly mammoths lived on a small island in the east about 3,380 years ago. That would have been during the Roman Empire. Number 2. Sabre-toothed Tiger This is the most ridiculous story that has ever been a story. The chances of a sabre-toothed tiger still roaming around in the wild is about the same as a pack of woolly mammoths. It's probably not happening. But that didn't stop Tiger King star Joe Exotic from trying to bring back the sabre-toothed species by forcing his animals to mate. If anyone saw the hit Netflix show Tiger King, they know all about Joe Exotic. Supposedly, he had an obsession with freakish lions and tiger hybrids, and one of his dreams was to somehow breed and crossbreed until he could recreate an Ice Age predator. As reported by the Daily Star, Joe did manage to create a liger, but of course he never made a sabre-toothed anything. He even claims that he was working with genetic experts at the Texas University to try and engineer extinct prehistoric animals. But almost anything this lunatic said was false, and we will probably never get to see a sabre-toothed tiger or lion ever in real life, unfortunately. Number 1. Titanoboa The Titanoboa was an enormous snake believed to have lived about 60 million years ago. It would have lived in the same time right after the dinosaurs went extinct, and on average it's believed these snakes grew to be around 40 or 50 feet long. They also weighed over a ton. In terms of prehistoric animals that could still exist, the Titanoboa is the number one suspect. Unlike woolly mammoths or Tyrannosaurus rexes, the Titanoboa would be extremely difficult to find. Even though these monstrosities are so long and huge, they would be living in rivers in the Amazon jungle where almost nobody goes. They would be super difficult to locate, especially if there were only a handful of them left. There has been no definitive proof, and despite several fringe news reports stating that local Amazonian tribes have seen the prehistoric snake themselves, it's just not confirmed. However, it is highly likely that something huge and slithering could be hidden in the jungle. It could be a different species of anaconda, a new type of evil snake that can swallow a person, or the last remaining titanoboa in existence. Keep in mind that alligators and crocodiles are prehistoric monsters, and they would have lived about the same time as Titanoboa. So, it's really not as far-fetched as it sounds. It's definitely more realistic than a marine reptile from 65 million years ago living in Loch Ness. Do you truly believe any of these prehistoric animals could still exist today? Go ahead and discuss it in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another amazing and controversial video. If we could resurrect one species from the dead, which species do you think we should choose to bring back?